Welcome to this training on the Cisco IP phones. In this session, we're going to look at how to use the features of the Cisco IP phones. To answer a call, you can pick up the handset, or if you're using a headset, you will press the headset button. Or if you wish to use the speaker phone, you can press the speaker button. To make a call with the Cisco IP phones, you have several options. You can pick up the handset and dial the number. You can dial the number first and then pick up the handset, use the headset button or the speaker button to initiate the call. You will notice that when your handset is down, the first soft key is redial. That allows you to quickly redial the last number. Because the Cisco IP phones keep track of your missed, received, and placed calls, you can dial a number from these directory lists. For example, I can press the directories button, then use the blue toggle button to move down to received calls. Once received calls is highlighted, I press the first button that corresponds with the select soft key. I then see a list of calls I've received. Again, I can use the blue toggle button to scroll down the list until I find the number I wish to call. When the number is highlighted, I can lift the handset, press the headset or speaker button to initiate the call. You will notice as you scroll through the directory that some list the person's name and their extension, while others list only a number. When you see both the name and extension, that generally indicates the person is on a Cisco IP phone. When you have someone on the line and wish to put them on hold, you will see the hold soft key. Likewise, to resume the call, you will press the resume soft key. These phones are equipped with call waiting. If you are on a call and a second call comes in, you will hear a beep in your ear and then you will see the new call displayed on the screen. The new call will be highlighted on the screen, so you will press the answer soft key and your original call is automatically put on hold. You can then put the second caller on hold using the toggle button to highlight the first caller and press resume. If you finish the call with the second caller, you will select the original caller using the toggle button and press the resume soft key. Another important task that you may do with your phone is transferring a call to another extension. There are two types of transfer. One is called a warm handoff. A warm handoff is where you introduce the caller to the recipient before completing the transfer. This gives the recipient an opportunity to decline the call or at least know the purpose of the call. Hey, I have Summer. Are you available to talk to her? Okay, thanks. Here she comes. The second type is often referred to as a cold transfer. This is when you simply transfer the caller to the recipient with no introduction. The transfer process has changed with the Cisco IP phones. When you are on a call, you will notice that the third soft key is transfer. You will press the transfer soft key. Then you will enter the extension you want to transfer the caller to. If it is a warm transfer, you will talk to the recipient first, then press the transfer button again and hang up. If it is a cold transfer, you will dial the extension you are transferring the caller to, followed by the transfer button again. It is important to do transfer number transfer. Otherwise, the person is on hold until they give up or you have realized your mistake. Conference calling is another feature of these phones. You have the ability to have up to four persons in a conference call. The first thing you do is dial the first number. This can be an on-campus or off-campus number. After the person in your conference call has answered, you will locate the conference soft key, which is under the more soft key. You will press the conference button and then dial the next number. You will repeat this process until you have everyone in the conference call. Once everyone is in the conference call, you will press the conference button one last time and join everyone together. To finish the conference call, everyone hangs up. When you have an incoming call, you will see two soft keys on your screen. One is answer, which when pressed activates the speaker. The second one is I divert. I divert sends the call directly to voicemail. Forwarding your phone to voicemail has also changed. By default, the phone will go to voicemail after four to six rings. When you need all calls to go to voicemail, press the third soft key, which is the call forward all, followed by the message button. Once you have done this, you will see 
all messages forwarded to voicemail on the display. To cancel call forwarding, you press the Call Forward All button again. The last thing we will look at is how to set up your ringer. In large open offices, it's nice to have different rings for different phones. To change the ringer, you press the Settings button on the front of your phone. User Preferences is the first option, so you will be able to press the Select soft key. Rings is the first option once again, and you will press Select. You will want to modify your default ring, which will be highlighted option, so again press Select. You will see a list of optional rings. You can use the toggle button to scroll through the list. The second soft key is the play button that allows you to hear the ring. Once you have found the ring you like, press the select button. You will need to hit the save button to save the preference. To exit the settings feature, you will press the exit button three times to return to the main display. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact the IMT support desk. Thank you. Thank you.